Well, has now turned political for Oregon's governor. This in the wake of startling admissions by his fiance, including a marriage of convenience decades ago. NBC national correspondent Peter Alexander has that story. Peter, good morning to you. Matt, yeah, wait till you hear this one. Oregon's governor, John Kitzhaber, has been with his fiance for the last 10 years. But what she is just revealing now about her past relationships is threatening to undermine his own reelection bid. On behalf of the voters, then In this debate vote. Tuesday night, Oregon's governor defending his policies and his personal life. Before I knew Sylvia and she knew me, she was involved in some illegal activities. Uh, I don't condone it. I wish it hadn't happened, but it did. How we deal with that fallout is really a personal matter between Sylvia and myself. This is the most painful part for me. Last week, Democrat John Kitzhaber's fiance, Sylvia Hayes, who he calls Oregon's first lady, admitted breaking the law in 1997 when she accepted $5,000 to marry an 18-year-old Ethiopian man who wanted a green card. It was wrong then, and it is wrong now, and I am here today to accept the consequences. Hayes said at the time she was struggling to put herself through college. But making matters worse for the governor, his fiance kept her five-year marriage a secret, even from him only telling the governor about the sham marriage when a reporter began asking her about it last week. He was stunned and he was hurt. And I will be eternally grateful why, why isn't the governor for the beautiful, loving way he has supported me in this. Marriage fraud is a federal felony, according to immigration officials, but the statute of limitations in this case expired years ago. Still, this political scandal didn't end there. This week, Hayes also admitted that she took part in a plan to illegally grow marijuana on a property with a different man around the same time. In a statement, she wrote, I was involved in an abusive relationship with a dangerous man. It certainly ups the stakes in an otherwise very, very dull governor's race. This week, Governor Kitzhaber ordered a state ethics review of his fiancé's environmental consulting business and whether Hayes, who actually advises the governor on energy and environmental issues, has tried to benefit financially as First Lady. Matt.